Hello, and welcome to the Tired Craftsman channel. I am your host, the Tired Craftsman. This is my co-host, 22, and this is the first video of 2023. How about that? New year, new me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll never change. My exes say that I'm incapable. As you saw by the title of the video, tonight I'm going to be showing you how I make a foam battle axe. Who doesn't love axes? Designed for devastating decapitation and dismemberment. That's alliteration. That's how that's done. Now let's go see how this is done. <sighs> God, I hate myself. Anyway, first thing I do is make a template out of cardboard. I draw out the shape I want the axe to be and I cut it out. I'm not really going for any kind of historical accuracy or anything, just something vaguely Viking-like. I'm going to use a fiberglass rod to keep it rigid, so I'm checking to make sure it will fit inside the curved handle. So for the axe, I'm using EVA foam floor mat. I trace the pattern out onto the foam, and then I use a craft knife to cut out the pieces. And I have to cut a channel out to fit the fiberglass rod into the foam, so I take an X-Acto knife and hold it at a 45 degree-ish angle and cut down the channel lines that I drew. Then using my bandsaw, I cut the rod to fit, and now it's time to start gluing. Now foam can absorb contact cement sometimes, so I put one layer down on all the surfaces that I'm going to join together, and then let it dry for a few minutes, and then I put a second layer on, and then I also put some glue all over the rod too. Then once the glue has been sitting for about 10 minutes and feels kind of tacky and dry, I can join the pieces together. Be careful though, because the pieces will stick on the first contact, so you want to join them right. Once assembled, I take the handle to the belt sander and get rid of all that texture on the outside that I don't want, and I round the handle off. Uh, you could use a Dremel as well, but this was just faster. While I'm here, I'm also going to remove the texture from the head pieces so they'll bond together better. When you're gluing pieces, you want to make sure that all the surfaces are as smooth as you can get them. Now the edges of these pieces didn't line up perfectly, which no big deal, that happens sometimes. So I'm just going to take it over to the sander and I'm going to true them up a little bit. Then I mark near the edge where I'm going to start my bevel for the blade, and then I'm going to use a craft knife to remove some of the extra material. This will help the sanding go a lot faster. And after just a bit of grinding, we have a nice smooth edge for our blade. And now with the grinding done, I'm just going to go over everything really lightly with some 220 grit sandpaper just to clean it up. Then I put some contact cement on the top of the handle and the bottom of the head where those two pieces are going to join. Then after they're dry after about 10 minutes, I'm going to put some fresh wet glue on the rod and then it's going to slide right into the head. Then I glued this piece of quarter inch craft foam around the back of the head of the axe just for you know, a bit of detail and used another piece that's meant to be the end of the wood handle sticking out the top. And I used some thin strips of foam to simulate the leather that's wrapped around the head and the handle of the axe. And once that's done, I cut some shallow lines into the handle to simulate wood grain. I should have done this before putting the wraps on, but, you know, it is what it is. Then I lightly used a heat gun to seal the foam and to open up all the lines that I cut. Then I put a couple coats of black plastic dip on it, and now it's time for paint. I used some Platifex Armor Metallic Color paint for the head. And for the handle, I mixed some brown with a bit of white. Since I'm painting on a black surface, the paint's going to end up drying a lot darker than it appears now, so adding a bit of white will hopefully offset it and make it look a little lighter. Then I just used some regular brown acrylic for the strap so they'll be a bit darker than the handle, and I put some silver on the edge. And finally, I put some satin clear coat over it to protect the paint. And that is how it's done, or at least how I do it. Uh, perfectly acceptable prop axe, I think. Uh, con safe, yes. LARP safe, no. Uh, no, they won't let me back there after. Well, what's going on here? Uh-huh. Well, this is abnormal. Apologies for the intrusion. I do hope we are not interrupting. You're not Mormons, are you? 
We are here on behalf of the Order of the Blade and Marker to extend to you an invitation to join our prestigious Brotherhood of Craftsmen. Oh, yeah, you guys. I, uh, I got an email from you recently, didn't I? Yes, but you never replied, so our masters thought it would be best to follow up with you in person. Okay, it's a little unorthodox, kind of a red flag, you know my address and everything, but uh, regardless, I'm not really looking to be a subordinate. Oh, they suspected that. That's why they sent us, to help you better understand what we have to offer before you make your final decision. Okay, what is it you have to offer? We offer you a path to enlightenment, to share with you the secrets of the true crafts, so that you may complete your projects a better way. The right way. Well, that is a tempting offer, but uh, I kind of prefer to do things my own way. Yes, of course you do. And no doubt your early efforts show promise. But we offer you the chance to transcend this disorganized, aimless, make it up as you go a long way to be part of something greater. After all, without something greater than himself, what does a man truly have to believe in? Myself. You disappoint us. What a tragedy it is to refuse the ancient techniques and the wisdom of Sackloss. Hmm, I know. But you'll get over it. Indeed. It is not our way to dwell on failed projects. Failed projects? I thought you did things the right way. You have refused our offers of fellowship. Therefore, it is now the will of the Blade and Marker that you be eliminated. Measure twice. <laughs> Cut once. I'm so glad I made this.